mud in the desert. on the Tenere, super early, trying to beat the heat. I think today my most important tuning tool is gonna be this, because I know that from riding the previous ones, I like some suspension adjustments. So right away, almost all the time, the first thing I ever do is check tire pressure. The bike comes with 33, 35, uh, is where they recommend the stock Pirellis. I like 27. It just gives me better bump compliance off-road and that's what I set it to. The other thing is this nut, run that up against the cap so it doesn't tear your tube off. That'll really help you out. So this is it, out riding my brand new Tenere. Gonna take it for a little run to figure out what the next modifications I'm going to do. And I pretty much knew the first thing I was gonna do to the bike because it is absolutely 100% box stock and it doesn't take me very long to feel what I knew I was gonna feel. And so this is just down the street, we hit the trails and I start bouncing around. Of course, in this video, one of the things I'm gonna focus on is trying to show you how I think about the suspension. It's pretty bumpy and this is probably pretty aggressive for what an adventure bike is. Less than a mile in and I already know the first thing I wanna do. I've known this since, uh, since I got it, this. These rubber dampers literally just remove all the feel that I get from the motorcycle. And not only are they slippery if they get wet, which I did later, um, they just don't allow me to control the bike. The next thing I did was went straight into bumping up the shock preload because right away I felt like it was a little bit low. It wasn't very supple. And then I went out and continued riding. And we came mostly to uh, this <laughs> washed out dirt roads you just never know how deep these can be and i started finding out that the tires they're not too bad but they are a little bit of a limiting factor when they don't have big enough open blocks on the side so when you start getting into gooey stuff um, they weren't doing too much grabbing but they worked good on the street and here's head shake so i'm going to slow this down for you so this is cruising along at 70 miles an hour like one-handed like i usually do right and we hit some UTV bumps and the bike head shook. That made me want to get a steering damper. The other thing I need to get is a skid plate. And if you listen closely, you're hearing it. Those are rocks flying up off the front tire or just getting kicked up and literally making dents in the stock skid plate, which isn't that good. Here is a look at what it did. And it just reminded me, sometimes I get in a little over my head and that's why I need a good skid plate. Then we went on to suspension tuning. I clicked around. Typically I was going less on rebound and a little bit stiffer on compression. And I also backed the high speed, uh, not the high speed, the shock preload down a little bit after I made this modification and it all worked out. So overall, I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do next. I gotta leave the bike stock for a little bit to uh, compare it with some other bikes, but uh, skid plate is going on really soon. Loving the Tenere, had a great ride, and hopefully with this, you can see where we're headed, and we will see you out in the trail, so enjoy. <laughs>